from the group of uh, Alain Cribier and Rouen about uh, transcatheter aortic valve implantation with the Edwards valve prosthesis in patient with uh, low logistic euro score results of a prospective uh, single center registry. I remind the speaker that they have uh, five minutes uh, for the presentation and then give the time for the discussion. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. Thank you for the invitation to this uh, press conference. I will present you briefly the result of uh, uh, this study completed recently in our uh, team in the specific uh, field of transcatheter aortic valve uh, implantation, TAV. As you know, uh, aortic stenosis is the most frequent acquired valve disease in adults. This incidence of the disease is very high and increase with age. But a lot of patients were declined for surgery because of high operative risk evaluation. After the onset of balloon valvulopathy in 1985 and the development of TAV since 2000 and, uh, 2002, date of the first in-man valve implantation in our center by Professor Cribier, an alternative treatment can be proposed to this patient. And TAVI has recently demonstrated its efficiency uh, with the results of uh, uh, the Pivotal Partner US trial. And since uh, 2002, uh, more than 4,000 uh, patients uh, were in, have been implanted with uh, two uh, commercially available model models of valve, the balloon expandable uh, valve, uh, Edouard uh, Sapien or Sapien XT, and the other one, uh, the self expanded device uh, developed by a Medtronic Core Valve. The evaluation uh, before surgery of patient is based on a risk assessment uh, using risk scores such as uh, Euroscore or STS score. And currently, as defined by uh, the European statement, TAVI is, perf is performed only in non-operable patients or in high-risk patients. These high-risk patients were defined by Euroscore higher than 20%. However, TV is performed in a number of patients with a logistic euro score under 20%. Because these patients were declined for surgery due to comorbidities not included in the uh, calculation of euro score, uh, such uh, radiotherapy, corticosteroid, thoracic deformation, or porcelain out. So uh, we sought to evaluate in our population the result obtained uh, in this patient with a low euro score. Between 2006 and two, two 2011, 177 patients with degenerative aortic stenosis were implanted in our center by, uh, with the uh, Edward Sapiens or Sapien XT valve. Under local anesthesia for transfemoral approach or under uh, general anesthesia for transapical approach. These patients were included in a prospective monocentric registry and we uh, retrospectively analyze and compare clinical um, characteristics and uh, result at 30 days and one year to of, of two groups according to their logistic Euroscore as you can see here. On this table you can see the uh, result and the clinical characteristics of the two groups the main reason uh, for inclusion in TV program of patients with a logistic score score uh, under 20% were uh, e highlighted in green uh, on this uh, uh, table. The patients of the uh, lo low logistic uh, Euroscore group are younger, more of a female, with less history of cabbage or stroke, and they had uh, a better left ventricle ejection fraction and uh, renal function. Results show there was uh, no uh, significant uh, difference in uh, procedural duration or in uh, vascular or uh, neurologic or renal complication or neither in uh, um, conductive troubles requiring a definitive pacemaker. Procedural success uh, was completed in 100% uh, in, uh, in the low euro, uh, low euro score group and in 95.7% uh, in the other group. There were less bleeding in the low uh, euro score group and a shorter hospitalization uh, stay. But the most, interesting, uh, the most interesting point to observe in this study is the absence of death at one month in the low score group versus a mortality rate of 
11.1% uh, in the high euro score group. And this result is maintained at one year, as you can see on this uh, kaplan meier curves. So, uh, in conclusion, uh, to our knowledge, this, uh, uh, first, this is the first study evaluating uh, the result of TAVI in this specific subset uh, of lower risk, lower hour score patient, and this, this is very uh, promising and should encourage further physicians to include patients with low hour score but decline for surgery uh, in TAVI program. This may be uh, the first step towards a broader assessment of uh, percutaneous techniques in population at lower surgical risk, but without forgetting uh, that surgery is currently the gold standard. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so this paper is now open for uh, discussion. Hello. Um, on, on your study, um, the pacemaker, I noted pacemaker was three and seven percent placement yeah. for your group, and um, the, ac the access was always transfemoral for no. all patients since 2006? Uh, no, uh, since 2006, we uh, do the two approach, transfemoral and transapical approach. Okay. But we uh, have a third of patient uh, with tr transapical approach, and 70% uh, uh, of uh, by transfer femoral approach. And this was a change in, uh, that was made available after some, uh, because this goes back five years. Uh, and so the transfemoral approach became Transfemoral became well a change because um, since uh, two, uh, 2009, uh, we have changed and we don't, uh, do, we don't perform um, vascular approach with the surgeon. We uh, do all the, um, all, the yeah. all the procedure by trans, uh, transfem uh, transfemoral uh, without uh, any surgeon. Do you do transapical at all on these low risk score patients? We, we, are, we have also do, uh, d uh, done uh, some um, trans uh, transapical approach in this patient with a lower hour score group because uh, uh, some patients have uh, chest, uh, chest radiation uh, or, some, uh, or deformation and we only uh, mm, approach the, the air by uh, bilateral uh, approach. Can I, uh, then finally, can I just solicit a comment since you have a five-year experience on the changes in procedure, techniques, and delivery uh, for patient success early on and today? We, we have more than five years uh, experience because uh, we, are, we are in the center of, uh, at the beginning of, the, of, the, of, this, uh, of the, these techniques, but there is a lot of change because, uh, as I can say, the, um, the hospital stay were shorter and shorter. And now we have uh, some patient uh, when we pro when we perform the transfemoral approach uh, that uh, goes on at uh, three days after the implantation. Thank you. Okay, one final question because be before we move on. Does that mean that you can uh, enlarge your indication to the lower risk uh, without contra surgical contraindication? No, act actually, it's it's not possible to to do this, and uh, because all the patients, as I as, uh, as I can t uh, show you, have been contraindicated for surgery, uh, and we uh, implant patient not contraindicated when uh, they have euro score upper than 20 percent, as uh, it's defined by a European statement. If you want to, we want to go for uh, to go for patient with low euro score, we have probably to. Uh, do pivotal uh, studies like uh, like partner and to compare two surgery because the surgery is actually uh, the reference and uh, probably we have to uh, evaluate at long term uh, the um, evolution and the safety and not uh, uh, and the absence of degeneration of the prosthesis uh, because the surgery had uh, result at 10 years and actually we as we can uh, have seen, we have only uh, some result of four, five years. It's, uh, it's not enough to, to conclude, actually. Thank you very much.